Welcome to Everyday Life and Money Matters. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on here and share with you a cool tool that you can utilize to format your KDP ebook. It's called Kodobi. So once you have head over to that site, Kodobi, and create an account, it should allow you to download the Kodobi author and it should take you to this page. All right. Once you are on this page, they may give you the template option, but I want you to select new. So as to have a blank page, after you have selected new, you're going to want to upload your book cover here. So you simply select this button right here and upload your book cover. I have up already uploaded my cover, so you can see it's already uploaded on Kodobi. All right, and there's the option to type in the name of the book, which you should definitely do. So I'm just going to remove the current slot and type in the name of my book. And then you have book manager. You select book manager. You can put in the book info the name of the author, publisher, your ISBN, and if there are further rights associated with your book. Also, you have the table of contents option. I like to keep it on auto-generated, and I like my table of contents to come at the beginning, right? So you can actually choose where you want your table of contents to be located. But after we add on more of the contents of the book, we will revisit Book Manager. And you simply select OK. All right, so to upload your book now, you simply select New Chapter. And a new chapter will be opened. And you copy and paste the contents of your book onto this blank page. You would have copied onto this page. And you would see that there are different chapters. So what we do is we go and we place our cursor in front of the first word or icon of our second chapter. And we select split chapter. Once that is split, we go, we scroll further, and we do the same thing again. Place the cursor in front of the first word or icon that represents the next chapter, and we select split chapter. This way, we are able to separate our chapters for our ebook. So once you have separated all your chapters, you would notice on the side that you have the ability to name your chapter, but because my chapters were already named, it automatically named my chapters for me. On customize, and you will see our table of contents automatically comes up. And we can simply select on each one to see how it looks. So this is in the full view version. And again, you see the option, you see the, how the book looks, you see the table of contents, the breakdown, everything. So this is how your book would appear on a, a mobile device. All right, so, so if you want to adjust the look of your book further, you can simply head back over to edit and you can highlight what you would want to change, whether it be the font, the size, etc. If you have an image you want to include, 
you can select image and download the image and upload it to your book. I already had an image associated with my book, but you can upload your own and adjust the size to suit. To adjust the size of the image, you simply highlight the image, select edit, and here you can adjust the size in terms of width, height, etc., for the image that you would want to upload. And you hit edit once you are satisfied with it. So I'm not going to do the entire book, but it's a fairly easy interface to follow. So let's head over to export. So once you head over to export, you see there are various options for you to export your ebook. But don't forget for KDP, primarily it's EPUB. So you want to utilize this option. So you just select create. So I hope that you guys continue to utilize this interface because it's quite easy. It's to me, it's easier than Microsoft Word in attempting to edit ebooks. So continue to check it out and see how best it works for you. Thank you for listening to Everyday Life and Money Matters. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment and click that notification bell so you can be alerted of all our videos. Thanks for viewing.